A good systematic review should be easily replicable by other researchers. To do that, you have to clearly report your choices that you have made throughout the selection process. In title and abstract screening, as well as in full text screening, if you choose to include or exclude a paper, you have to have good reasons for that, and you have to record this choice. Let's see how you do that in HubMeta. As you would remember, when you choose to accept or reject, or say maybe to an article, you were given a list of options in terms of why you believe this article should be rejected or should be accepted. And you can also have the option of saying other and reporting a specific reason for that. Although we have included some fairly common reasons for accepting or rejecting an article, you can edit this through project settings and screening categories. As you can see, there are all sorts of reasons here. And you can see here that some of them are uh, used in full text screening and some of them in title and abstract screening. And you can edit this or you can add a new one. Uh, you will add a reason here. You will determine the priority, meaning where in the list it will show up. You will choose if this is relevant to title screening or full text screening. And finally, the connotation if it is negative or positive. If the connotation is negative, it's shown when the user chooses a no or maybe answer. And if it is positive, it's shown when they choose a yes answer. Now to report these reasons, we usually report this Prisma chart. And based on the reasons that reviewers have selected, you would see that these categories are all shown here. This shows, for example, that 11 papers were rejected because the population was not of interest and 327 of them were rejected because it was a review or theory article, so they couldn't be included in my meta-analysis.